Okay. So we're here on this wonderful Friday morning to play some Fallout 4. Uh, I'm in the midst of a female playthrough right now. So, see what that has yielded me so far. It's, uh, Fallout 4 has now become like a, uh, sort of, I play this only sometimes kind of game. I've been playing through, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, 2.5 HD Remix, PlayStation 3, yep. And so that's perfect time for me to stream because uh, I don't have anything to do. I've already done my morning exercises. I got work later on today, but I uh, should be able to stream for like an hour, hour and a half, something like that, and just uh, see where it goes. Oh, okay. I'm in the middle of a quest, actually. Oh, oh that's a lot of raiders. Killed that caravan guard and that merchant. Hola. Uh, why? Why do they kill that merchant? Like, there we go. Great. Wonderful. He's just standing in the car. So dumb. Getting stuck in a damn car. Also, this pistol looks like a kid's toy. It's wonderful. He's part of a quest. He's part of a quest, but the Brotherhood of Steel are the absolute worst faction in this game. They're just a bunch of fascists. They're terrible. They're assholes. Right now my companion is a is a dog, and I can't wait to replace him because he's a dog, and dogs can't talk to people. Unless you're just high on super jet. I mean Hi, welcome to Off Jet Systems. Oh wait, this is Boston, never mind. So it wouldn't be random southern gentlemen. Paladin dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood. Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused. The phone is super device. loud when it vibrates. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Cogsworth. Because he's just a manic depressive robot who's like, I'm so glad you're alive. Oh my god. No. I was using this, uh, my last playthrough up until the end, I was using like some kind of weird d drug addicted like Irish lady. Dealt with. 
Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Yeah, he's he's got to be handy. He's a Mr. Handy robot, which means he has to be prepared for any situation, even if that means sawing a baby in half. You know, for those those nights when you just have to sacrifice your infant child to the Dark Lord Crondor. Reconnoiter the area. Do mm. do do. Oh, I gotta remember where all this junk is. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line. <laughs> Keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape, and we'll start a new one. Weird. I gotta find out how to open that door without a... Hacking this is part oh. of me. Because I'm not a hacker. I'm not super hacker gal. I forgot to post a link to the stream. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. You had your little uh, medical procedure, right? I think I remember you yeah, you telling me about that. I didn't know if that had happened or not. Security's too good. Paladin dance. Enough chatter. We've got a job to do. Well, I can't open the door, Paladin, because I'm not a hacker. I'm not super cool hacker gal, alright? Asshole. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. Lab analyst terminal. Yep. There we go. In three months. Plasma gun. Yeah, institute pistol. Yeah. It's gotta be better than shooting this junky 38. 
Yeah. Hostile sensor reading. Synths are the absolute worst. They're just... They, later on in the game, you deal with synths that are just freaking tanks, and they just take so much damage. It's bad. That guy's got an institute rifle. I think I want that. It's a focused rifle, too. We'll switch over to that, because it's probably more powerful. Yep. And he even has this giant scope on here for some reason. That's a trip mine. I'll take that. Seems to me like they're trying to set up shop in here. That's 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 not good. That is not a good blood pressure at all. That is just oh, that's not good. I don't even think my blood pressure's ever been that high. So. In itself, that's just like... Damn he, believe it or not, even when I was a lot heavier than I am now, and was closer to 300 pounds, my blood pressure never really deviated that much from the standard 120 over 80. It, I mean, it would get a little bit higher. Like, it might hit like 135 for this uh, systolic, I believe it is. I, I'm probably getting that wrong, but... Uh, it never went to somewhere to ballpark like 180 ever. For the Brotherhood, long live the Brotherhood. All right. This rifle takes up so much screen real estate. It's not funny. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's the thing is that once it gets, did, did, let me ask, did did they did they force you? Or did they did they it's like no, you can't walk out of here on foot. You have to be in a wheelchair. Is uh, I had that happen to me once, and it was the dumbest thing ever. Hey, Paladin Dance, let's go. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out. The dog is getting in the way. Mm. I remember I was younger and I had a tonsillectomy. Uh, it was like a five hour procedure or something like that. And they wouldn't let me leave on foot. I had to leave via wheelchair. And I'm just like, guys, I got my tonsils ripped out. I didn't get... God damn it. This dog is going to completely hamper all of my progress. Looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. And find a way to get the facility's power back online. <laughs> yeah, man. So, were you under, like, anesthesia, or... There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Or what? Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here. Okay, yeah, anesthesia can make somebody go really groggy. Damn. I'm gonna set that on the floor because it's really, like, I can hear that over my headphones. Alright, so now we gotta hack. And I hate hacking. Jeez. 
I'm actually kind of fortunate to have a somewhat mild anxiety to the point where I don't have panic attacks. reason why I hate hacking. I hate it so much. I understand it, it's just that it's time consuming. There is actually a... Uh... The problem is, is that I'm hitting different words to try to find out what the likeness is, and they're all like really different words, and I'm getting like likeness zero. So, like, okay, so, deny. That means that none of the letters are in the actual password are going to have D-E-N and Y. At least in that order. So let's hit rare. Okay, that, that has a likeness of two, which means I got two letters right. So that means there's either R-A or R-E. And here's rank. And there's also here. Yep. Just got locked out. So now I have to wait for the lockout to go away. Terminal will reset after 10 seconds. Unless there's a password in here. Nice. There's not a password in here. Unless it's on this personal log. guy was gonna murder some people. With this. Bingo. I, I'm taking that. That is... That's just a gun that you just load up a whole bunch of junk into and then you just shoot it at people. I kinda like that idea. I'm just a weird security guard. I don't know anything about no cats in here. I'm just a super lonely janitor man. Alright. Oh. God damn it. Area. None. Okay, how about lose? One. Uh, how about live? None. Uh, uh, it's got a high damage rating too. Holy crap. Okay, so I actually have to put stuff in here from my inventory. Uh, let's make sure that it's not anything I actually need to build stuff. Um, Yep, it just, it literally it just shoots bricks of junk. There we go. Well, I mean, 
they they already kind of did that with this game, making junk useful. They put the whole settlement thing in here, so you have to build stuff. and standing by for your command. Accepted. Commencing five seconds. Bye, Paladin Dance. I'm setting you on fire with a jet engine. Threat eliminated. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. I can institute pistol. Oh. Oh, look at all these goodies. Oh, man. He's not supposed to die because he's... He's a uh, potential story character. Also, he's wearing power oh my armor. God, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames, but thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Yep. Okay, let's go. Let's let's move it, Tubbs. Let's go. I'm going down to the automatic institute pistol. Going down. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <coughs> do, 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 do. All right. I don't think we're alone. Move it. God. Damn it, you stupid fucking dog. This is the reason why I am. Move. This is the reason why I went with people instead of a dog. It's not going to mess it up, but it's not going to give you an accurate reading of your steps. If you have it set to that. So you should probably... I mean, if you're not sleeping, you shouldn't have it on sleep mode. I mean, that's a general, general rule of thumb. It won't, like, mess up the, the module or anything. It's just that... You should, probably should just... If you're not sleeping, don't have it on sleep mode. Oh! Oh my god, my shirt's backwards on the stream. I wonder if I can alter that real quick. Let me see if I can go into broadcast settings. Nope. Woof. Yeah, look at that. Now it's all right side. Okay, fair enough. Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm 
not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood <laughs> soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? So... What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. How about you? No. I don't know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. No. I don't want to be in the Brotherhood of Steel. They're very bad people. I leveled up. The Brotherhood of Steel are just very, very bad people. What perk do I want to purchase? How? Lock picking is useful. Now, see, the thing is with hacking is that the more that you upgrade your hacking perk it just it's it doesn't make hacking any easier it just allows you to hack more advanced terminals so it doesn't really do anything per se like it just allows you to be like oh now you can hack now you can attempt to hack terminals with passwords that are like nine characters long and that's just like okay that's even more of a headache uh, hey, I, 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 I can go to the Starlight Drive-In. Whereas lockpicking is like, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's useful. For locks. Because I'm a burglar. A gentrified burglar. There's a bunch of cats. At Starlight Drive-In, I don't, I don't quite understand what's happening here. All right. Uh, no, I don't have it, but I know some of my friends that play this game have have the uh, weapon, and I'm just like, okay. And it's like. It's supposed to be like some kind of freezing gun. Makes you seem like Mr. Freeze from Batman. So what we need to do is set up a settlement recruitment beacon. Uh, 
dog meat dispose. Look at that. It's a recruitment radio beacon. Now we need to get some power. Look at that. Look at that. Done. Yeah, but then I'm sure that Preston Garvey is just all like, I know the settlement needs our help. I'm going to mark it on your map. Don't go. Pitfall. Free hollow tape in this issue. It's just pitfall. Some ramen around here. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. <laughs> I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I've gotten word about a settlement that's been threatened by raiders. I'll mark it on your map. We'll find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Uh, it's they're they're not permanent. They're just for people that are passing through. Yeah. It makes them more apt Carla, to come and visit you. Up? It's pretty long from here. Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. Keep your shirt on. Trash can, Carla. It's a great name. That's a good noise. Sounds like you're turning on a monitor. Uh, okay. No, I already played through this game once as a guy, and now I want to see the difference between uh, a male playthrough and a female playthrough. Because dialogue choices are incredibly different and how people respond to you are incredibly different. It's like the Mass Effect series. Mass Effect series, arguably the, the female character, uh, the female character that you can make in Mass Effect has a much better voice actress than the male one. So it's a much more pleasant experience because you don't sound like a dingus when you're playing the game. So... Yeah. Because people react to females differently in video games like this, typically. So, I'm just here to see what the difference is. And get irradiated! Oh, God! Plus ten rads, no! No, don't touch water. Water's bad. Water's really bad.
Excuse me. Wake up. Tell me your problems. Did the Minutemen send you? Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. Eh, not necessarily. I mean, it it's typically really, really subtle things, such as the tone of voice that people have whenever they respond to what you have to say. Um, I mean, it's, this is something that I've seen in games all the way, going all the way back to like Resident Evil 2, where if you played as Leon the cop, the, there's a gun store owner who just reacts to you, who's like, I don't have a clue what's going on. The next thing I knew, there were all these zombies everywhere. But then when you play as Claire, he's like, I ain't got no clue, darling. There's just a whole bunch of zombies out there. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a slightly different experience. Also, uh, in Fallout, Male and female characters have different perks. For instance, the male has the lady kill into which you, you can be really efficient at speech checking women and killing them. Oh perfect, there's a chair. I can wait three hours for the daylight. Yeah. Interesting. That's one way to pick up a quest. Hear gunfire off to the right. Stuck on a fridge. I didn't hit shit. Actually, I have Righteous Authority now, which I think is a better gun than... Oh yeah, it's a much better gun. Backstreet Apparel.
down. <laughs> Just explodes. Oh. You could just lockpick forever. Raider scum. Oh, that's a master safe. Wow. Good on them for having a safe that I can't crack yet. Pack of duct tape. And a screwdriver. Time to get out of here. Another settlement needs our help. I'll mark it on your map. These are the hard questions that we ask on my streams. What am I going to have for lunch? <sighs> and now that that's taken care of, we'll just head on. We'll head on down to Oberlin Station. <clears throat> I should probably also head to Diamond City sometime this playthrough. care of those raiders for you. Oh god, what is happening? Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. I need copper and, and some ceramic, but... Ugh. Oh well.
Hey. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We can finally start to think about more than just survival. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle, and I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. A pack of ghouls will hold up near a settlement. They could use our help. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So, see what you can do to help. Mom, welcome back, Mom. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in them. Jeez, that's all the way out there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yep, that'll... that will knock you out. Hydrocodone acetamethan. Yeah, that will that will zonk people out. Oh. Oh. Alright. Trinity Tower signal found. So we gotta be getting pretty close to diamonds. Dog meat found an enemy. Ooh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay. Police precinct eight. I'll mark it on your map. I'm gonna mark it all on your map. can't open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <laughs> oh man, that was intense. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gates. You, you want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. I have no idea what's going on with this camera. Ooh, is that a Mr. And she sounds like she's all the way over there. Yeah. Piper. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Hmm. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you Muckraker. Words, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? <laughs> that is not the line. Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this guy's a tool. I want the truth. He's obviously a synth. I think I remember that from my last playthrough. He was a synth. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. These people are dumb.
Welcome to Diamond City. Come on into the Diamond myself and I know human hair that's just it Johnny you wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you nick McDonough with your razor he'd bleed don't mean nothing hmm <clears throat> well hello there another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps fuck you lady I don't beg you stuck up old bat fine Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of responses I like in this game. I'm going to shoot Piper right <laughs> no, uh, That's a bad idea. There's a bar in the old theater district that's for Raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. That's how we get a companion. That, that would not be... It would be one of those things where I would totally save before... David saying that the weak simple girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Uh oh. He's a legendary! He's a legendary! He's just a legendary here in Diamond City! What's the difference? I mean... I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a good thing I saved. The surgery cellar. But I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker. Officer? Word is something bad went down. The old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Abandoned forever. <clears throat> Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. If you want a history lesson. Um, I have done the Museum of Witchcraft before, but not in this playthrough. And there's actually a huge, uh, I wouldn't say glitch, but an exploit that I use inside the Museum of Witchcraft. It's actually really, really good. Except I have not come anywhere close to discovering that area. Back the car in the yard. Um... Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it. That kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the sin. Yeah, I I did the same thing too in my first playthrough. I put it back at the nest because it's like I don't really want I, told you you I don't want to give Death Claws a reason. <laughs> Something His wrong. Ties. Oh Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. 
It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. <laughs> I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. I kind of need some money. Go on. Go on, give me the money. I need some caps. Caps. Please hurry. I do not know anything about befriending a death claw. The only time I tried to become a friend with a death claw, he tried to give me a hug, and my whole body exploded from the sheer amount of force of his claws ripping through my flesh. Yeah. Lucky Valentine. <laughs> Let's get story of the century out of the way. Vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. And watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for Who is it? My baby hey, you. John was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me. Do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
called Tudor. <laughs> Oh. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Put the gun down now. He's a Sim. He'll kill us all. <clears throat> Kyle, no. Okay, show's over. There are no Sims in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Wow. I'm just going to take these crispy squirrel bits and, uh, yeah. I'm gone. And unfortunately, due to work and getting ready for work, I have to end my stream now, despite how much I just want to sit here all day and stream this. So, that's... A good solid hour of Fallout, Fallout 4. I hope to play more of this on stream in the future. So, I'll probably play more, I don't know, like I, I typically do them in the morning here, so, because I have to work at night. Don't really have much of a choice there, so, I gotta head to work. Thanks a lot for watching. Later.